welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be replacing the optical drive in a 2010 15-inch MacBook Pro. We have already powered down, unplugged, and placed our MacBook Pro on a soft, static-free workspace. We are ready to begin. To begin, close the MacBook Pro and turn it upside down. There are a total of 10 Phillips screws we need to remove from the bottom of the MacBook Pro. We will begin by removing these three screws as they are different lengths than all the other screws. Now gently pull the bottom of the case starting at the top rear until all the snaps release. The optical drive is located here. To remove the old optical drive we first need to disconnect two cables using our nylon pry tool. Gently pry up here until the cable pops free. Repeat for the smaller cable. Remove this small Phillips screw by the fan. In order to remove the drive, these two Phillips screws must also be removed. Once the two screws have been removed, gently slide the module over until you are able to see and remove this Phillips screw underneath it. Do not break any of the wires. The final Phillips screw we need to remove is located here. To remove the old optical drive, Use the nylon pry tool to gently lift one side slightly, then remove the drive, being careful not to snag onto any of the wires. From the old optical drive, we need to remove these two items to use on the new optical drive. Pull the data connector out gently and set aside. Now remove this bracket using your Phillips screwdriver. We will now install both the data connector and bracket we just removed from our old optical drive onto our new optical drive. Our bracket will be installed here. Lay the optical drive flat and secure the bracket to the optical drive using the two Phillips screws. Now plug the data connector into the new optical drive. We will now install the new optical drive into our MacBook Pro. Slide the new optical drive in place, making sure that this bracket is positioned under the cable. Replace this Phillips screw first. Gently slide the module to the side, just enough that we can install this Phillips screw. Now install the Phillips screw here, next to the fan. Line up the module and install the two screws. Remembering that the longer Phillips screw goes here. Make sure this cable is in its channel. Then plug in the two cables. Now set the bottom of the MacBook Pro into place and push in these two spots to lock it in. Replace the 10 Phillips screws, starting with the three longer ones here.
You can now turn your MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on.